There's a lot of cool guns out there available on the market. Unfortunately, in California, we can't get them all. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the California DOJ roster and how you can figure out for yourself what you can and cannot get. Thanks for joining us on Shooter the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we'd like to thank all of our followers for keeping up with us and uh, help giving us traction and keep all those wheels turning. Anyway, if you haven't done it already, hit the like, hit the share, also hit that little bell so you get instant notification. You can also find us on all the other social media. Uh, we're on Patreon. You can also find us now on Parlor. So today we wanted to talk about the available choices that you can get in California. And we get a lot of frequently asked questions where people come into the gun store and they say, I really want to get this. And we kind of have to break their bubble saying, yeah, it's a great gun, but unfortunately it's off roster. So what we need to do is define our terms for what's off roster and what's on roster. And this begs the question, what is the roster? If you go to the California DOJ's website, you're going to see a pull-down menu that has all of the guns that are available for sale new in the state of California. Now, California has some pretty stringent restrictions on what they consider to be safe for new sale in the state of California. Um, I'm not going to get into whether this is good or a bad thing. I'm just going to get into the realities of it. Good or bad, this is what we have to live with. It doesn't mean there aren't some great guns on there. It just means we have limited choices. So that being said, you can go to the California DOJ site for the California roster, and you can bring up lots of, uh, lots of different guns that are available here. And they're all basically set up by manufacturer, so you can roll through your manufacturer's list and see what applies to you. Now, you're going to find that there are some guns that are manufactured strictly for California. Now, for instance, if you went to the Springfield um, Armory site, and we're not sponsored by them, I'm just using them as an example, and we're checking out the XDs, you're going to find out that there are certain XDs that are listed as low capacity, and they're going to have a SKU number on them. Uh, SKU stands for stock control unit. So it may be the XD9, but you may have 10 or 15 different versions of the XD. So you can check the SKU number against the SKU number on the California DOJ list to match them up and find out exactly what's right for you. So that being said, we, we have some limitations. But there are also some exemptions. And for some people, they're able to use the exemptions to... Um, acquire some, some guns that otherwise would not be available. Now, first of all, the guns available to Californians for new sale would be referred to as on roster. Those that are not are referred to as off roster. And the off roster guns are basically just um, permitted for law enforcement to buy and own. Now, there's an exemption. Say that a cop decides that he bought the gun, didn't like it, it's legal for him to sell it. Um, so that's one avenue. Uh, another exemption would be uh, if you have family members uh, out of state. Now the way this works is, is if you have a parent or a child that is as of age living in a different state, like say Arizona, or New Mexico, doesn't really matter, where these guns are legal, they could actually buy the gun and then ship it to an FFL and are basically able to transfer it to you as a used firearm. You're probably going to have to pay um, an extra handling cost to the gun store to make all of this happen, and that's true with any out-of-state transfer, but um, it's important that you, you, know, you understand that you can buy them used where you cannot buy them new. That's basically it. So if you're looking at the, the California DOJ roster, just be aware 
of the different variations of on roster, off roster, and just make your decisions um, based on getting all the information that you can. And if you have other questions, probably want to talk to one of the FFL dealers since they deal with it every day. You can find them at your gun store or actually call a firearms based attorney that can help you with the intricacies of the law. Um, since I'm not a lawyer, I like to point people in the direction to people that are actually experts in the field. Anyway, we just wanted to answer that question because it comes up a lot. And we want to thank you all for joining us here on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training. Hope you all have a safe uh, week, weekend, and you all take care.